So welcome back everybody. The time has come for us to set up a sawmill shed on the place here. I mentioned in the last video that uh, this, this sawmill is kind of a too big of an investment for me to leave sitting out in the weather and I'm kind of tired of seeing it sitting out in the rain so it's time to do something about that. So if you see back here we've already got the lumber cut and for the rafters and stuff and if you can see right here it's kind of difficult to see there's a little red stake right there. I've got four of those laid out. We've already got those laid out and squared up where the post holes need to go and uh, we're going to go ahead and start digging the post holes. Now I've got about three days to get this done and if, of course if, if I don't it's not a huge emergency but that's kind of my goal. I actually work night shift on the weekends and so I've got I've got the weeks around here to to get stuff done. So today is Monday. It's about 3 30 in the afternoon. I've got the rest of today to work on this. And I've got Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday and maybe Friday and um, uh, aside from that, uh, I, hopefully we can get it done this week. Now it is supposed to be raining off and on this week, so it's probably going to be kind of a challenge. Let's go ahead and get started and uh, let's build a shed. Well, hello. <laughs> Why are you filming us? Because <laughs> he's cute. <laughs> Say hey, Daddy. Say hey, Tater Ben. Hey, man. Hey. Hey. You say hey. You say hey. Let's see what we're looking at here. A little flippy screen. Ah, you see? You see? That's us. That's us. Can you say hey? You say hey. You say hey. Can mommy get you to wave? Say hey. Say, all right, everybody, time to hit the like button. Time to hit the like button. Say thumbs up. Nope. <laughs> okay. He's not feeling it. He's <laughs> not. <laughs> now, like now, he's, like, now he says, hey.
I really should have cut that one off. It's way too tall. Then they may be, may be just right. <laughs> Tom Quinn. Yay! 
Not bad. Yeah,
So guys, unfortunately it is Friday and I've basically just run out of time. Uh, I'm very, very, very satisfied with what we were able to accomplish this week. You can see behind me, uh, we got uh, the whole thing framed in. We got the rafters and all that stuff up. Um, well, I say we got it framed in. There's other stuff to be done. We're going to put a wall on this left side here and a wall on the back. And I've got a, actually I've got a windfall cedar tree here that I hope to use some of that lumber for the back wall. I think that'll be really nice to be able to look at some pretty cedar wood while I'm sawing, but I'm very happy with what we got, what we got accomplished here. Y'all might, y'all might be wondering what's going on with this timber up here to the left. Well, it's, I guess it's y'all's right. This short one over here, that's a, I think it's a 10 foot span right there. And unfortunately the timber that I had was, uh, it didn't have two flat sides and I had to have, uh, you know, two good flat sides for it to work properly. So what we did, we just cut it down to, I think it would have been 10 and three quarters of an inch or something like that by five. And then we just kind of scabbed a two by four on the top, true two by fours on the top to get it up to the proper height. Um, it's not quite what I wanted to do, but that span is a little bit shorter, so it's not going to affect anything structurally. It's just a little bit ugly, but <laughs> it's what I had, and that, that's really okay. So the span on the big giant timber right here ended up being uh, 19 feet, and I think that'll be fine as far as log loading, and because most of the logs that I do are only, you know, 8, 9, 10, 11 feet, something like that. I can't imagine a situation where I'm going to need 19 foot logs on a 17 foot mill. But maybe one of these days I'll have a different mill. Who knows? We'll see. But anyhow, I'm very happy with what we got done this week. I'm especially, especially grateful to my dad uh, for coming over with his tractor and uh, helping us out there. I, this, nothing, none of this would have been possible without that. Howard was able to help a couple of days this week, which was an extremely huge help. All we have to do now is put the lathing and the tin up and uh, we'll be good. So I wasn't planning on making this a, a two-part video, but it's going to have to be that way because I'm just out of time. But that's all right. Um, I really appreciate y'all watching this video. Um, I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank y'all. Say, all right, everybody, time to hit the like button. Time to hit the like button. Say, thumbs up. Nope. <laughs> okay. He's not feeling it. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> uh, now, like now, he's, now he says, hey.